A three month battle is now over for one northern Arizona community. A man in Chino Valley has successfully stopped a mine from opening in the middle of a neighborhood there. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 10. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Jonathan McCall in tonight for Mark. 12 News first telling you about this story just a few weeks ago when the fight over that mine first started. 12 News journalist Gabriela Becerra is joining us now in studio with what this means for the people living nearby. Gabby? Well, Jonathan Caribe, this community says they truly have something to be thankful for this Thanksgiving. Their peace and quiet is no longer in jeopardy, and it's all because of one of their neighbors. It was a shock. A public notice first warned Danny and Susie Brummett that an aggregate mine could soon open just a few hundred feet from their front door. I wouldn't be able to go out and just sit down and then, you know, out in the sun and just relax without noise and dust. Rock Supply, a Phoenix company, wanted to operate a mine on residentially zoned land. And according to Arizona state law, that's allowed. It's not that we're against mines. It was that we opposed this one because it was wanting to go into an established neighborhood. The Chino Valley neighborhood looked for any loophole, hoping to stop a rock quarry from disturbing their peace. You just don't walk away from your house that you've planned on retiring in for many years. But now they don't have to. All of a sudden it's like, ah, we don't have to do that. <laughs> Documents obtained by 12 News confirm a neighbor purchased the land where the mine was set to be built. Ted Del Ciro didn't want to speak on camera, but tells me buying the land just seemed like the right thing to do. Del Ciro says he doesn't have any immediate plans for his new property, but can guarantee it won't include mining. It's like time to, you know, take a deep breath and rest for a bit because this has been a long haul. But neighbors say their fight isn't over. They're asking Arizona lawmakers to revise the state statute that allows a mine to be exempt of any zoning ordinance. We know that there are other communities that are now battling similar situations and we want to be able to pay it forward. Attorney General Chris Mays took legal action to stop the mine earlier this month. Her office tells me they're still working to confirm the sale and the new owner's intent for the land. I reached out to the former owners, Fortune Rock and Rock Supply, for comment, but did not hear back. Back to you, Kribe. All right, Gabby, thank you. Tonight